Hello guys, let's continue with the second part of the unit 4. Please take your student's book and your workbook to make the activities that we are going to do in this part. For this second part, we are going to read the page 66 and review the structure of the chart that is in the next slide. Then we are going to answer the exercises 21, 22, and 23 of your student's book. And then we are going to continue with the workbook in the page 53, exercise 16. If you remember, in the last class we saw the use of should, but now we are going to see the structure of should and could and how we can apply it in a sentence. To create a question with should, first is we are going to write should, then is the subject. It can be I, you, he, she, we, they. And then the verb that we are going to use in the sentence. For example, what should we do? Should we go downstairs? Should we call the police? ¿Deberíamos llamar a la policía? ¿Qué deberíamos hacer? What should we do? And then for the answer, well, it can be positive or negative. If it is positive, the answer is going to be yes, then the subject, and then should. But if the answer is negative, we are going to use the word no, then the, the subject, and then the word shouldn't. Yes, we should, or no, we shouldn't. And remember, we use should to express that something is a good idea. Here we have the structure to ask if something is a good idea and the short answer. Now let's go to the student's book, page 66, activity 21. And it says, read, make questions and short answers, we should, or shouldn't. And we have five sentences. The first one says, I have an exam tomorrow morning. And then we need to complete the sentence using should or shouldn't. For example, first we are going to write should, then the subject that in this case is I, and then the verb, stay up. And then the complement that is late. I have an exam tomorrow morning. Should I stay up late? ¿Debería levantarme tarde? And the answer can be, no, you shouldn't. No, no deberías. No deberías levantarte tarde. Then the number two. That car isn't working. Should he take it to the mechanic? Yes, he should, right? That is going to be the answer. So as you can see, first we are going to write the word should, then is the subject, I, he, she, we, etc. And then the action or the verb. And then the answer can be positive or negative. Please try to answer the number 3, 4, and 5. Now guys, we are going to see the use of could. We use could to express a possibility or to ask something politely. Utilizamos could para expresar una posibilidad o para pedir algo amablemente. For example, we could go out. Podríamos salir nosotros. Or you could stop shaking me. You could put that noisy cat outside. Or we could tell mom and dad. As you can see in this part, the structure of cool first is the subject, then the word could, then is the verb, and then is the complement. Could in Spanish is podría. 
Now, we are going to continue with the student's book, page 67, activity 22. Look at 21 and make suggestions with could and match. For example, we have the letter A, B, C, and there are suggestions for the activity 21. For example, the number 3 of the activity 21 about Susan that it says, Susan has a bad toothache. Should she go to the dentist? Yes, she should, right? Well, in this case, another option can be or she could take a pill. And then the letter B, for example, but they could do their school project at home. What do you think that this suggestion can be for the activity 21? The number 5, right? About Teresa and her sister. Very good. And then the letter C. Or he could fix it himself. Well, in this case, this suggestion is for the sentence number 2 of the activity 21 about the that car that says that car isn't working should he take it to a mechanic yes he should or he could fix it himself please try to answer the letter d and e and match the suggestions with the activity 21 now guys, please open your workbook, page 53, and we are going to do the first example, the letter A, that says, read and write questions and short answers which should or shouldn't. And the letter A says, mom didn't put the meat in the fridge, it was out of the fridge all night. And we have two parts of two sentences. We need to put them in order. If you remember the structure of should as a question, first is the word should, then the subject, that in this case is they, should they, and then the verb is, and the complement, the me. Right? So the answer is, should they eat the meat? Ellos deberían comer Comer la carne, o ellos deberían comerse la carne. And then as an answer, we have no, they, and because it is negative, it shouldn't. Okay, no, they, shouldn't. Then the number two. First, should, should they throw the meat in the trash? Ellos deberían tirar la carne en la basura? Yes, they should. Sí. Ellos deberían. According to this example, please try to answer the letter B, C, and D. Just try to remember the structure of should. Now, guys, we are going to see the use of the commas. In the page 70 of your student's book, you have the rules of the use of the comma. For example, we use a comma between items in a list or we use a comma after most sequence words. We don't use comma after the word down and we use a comma before to at the end of a sentence. Now we are going to answer the workbook page 57. In this part, we need to read the three sentences that we have here. And for each sentence, we have the letter A and the letter B, two options. We are going to mark the option that is the correct. For example, the letter 1A. First, I eat a healthy breakfast, then I go swimming. Or letter B. First, I eat a healthy breakfast, then I go swimming. The first one 
doesn't have a comma after then, and the second one has a comma after then. Which one is the correct? The first one, right? Because after then, we don't use a comma. Then, the number two, letter A. You should drink some tea, take some medicine, and sleep. Or letter B. You should drink some tea, take some medicine, and sleep. The correct answer is letter B, right? Because we use a comma between items in a list. And then the number three, letter A. I take good care of myself. She takes good care of herself too. Letter B. I take good care of myself. She takes good care of herself too. The correct answer is the letter B because we use a comma before to at the end of a sentence. Now guys, let's go to the student's book, page 70. We have a paragraph and you need to put the commas in the correct places according to the rules of the use of commas. So try to answer by yourself. I know that you can do it. Just check the rules to answer this activity. Very good guys, we finished the unit 4. If you have questions, remember that here is my cell phone. Okay, you can send me a message or call me if you have any questions. Okay. See you in the next class. Bye.